Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to use an Xbox One controller with a Nintendo Switch, and that starts right now. Hello folks, I have some good news. You can now use an Xbox One controller with a Nintendo Switch. You can see the Joy-Cons. They're right there. Today we're playing Borderlands on the Switch with an Xbox One controller. And I believe it's also running at 60 FPS, but I could be wrong. And this works wirelessly. To further demonstrate my point, we're going to go ahead and pop a game cartridge in. This is Breath of the Wild, and I'll be back in a moment showing the Switch playing it on the TV. Working completely wireless through Bluetooth, absolutely zero problems. Heck, we'll even boot up Crisis Remastered just to demonstrate. Controller's still working, we hit the home button, takes us home. In the next part, I'll show you how to actually do this. Now that we're on the computer, we're gonna go ahead and discuss what we need to be able to get any other type of Bluetooth controller working on the Switch. So how this all works is a program called Mission Control from a developer called NDeadly, and it's on GitHub. And I'm gonna go ahead and link that in the description below. Mission Control lets you use controllers from other consoles natively on your Nintendo Switch via Bluetooth. And now that you can do it through CFW, it makes life a lot easier. All the information will be here, so I'm not gonna go ahead and describe how it works, but I just know what I can do with it. Not all Xbox One wireless controllers do support Bluetooth. Older ones that are 2.4 gigahertz wireless, that controller has darker plastic in the middle uh, where the Xbox button is versus the new modern ones that are all Bluetooth. So just keep that in mind if you have older Xbox One controllers, they might not be supported, but pretty much everything else is supported. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead over to the right side and we're gonna choose releases. video and hopefully it answers all questions you have regarding this relatively simple tutorial. Just drag and drop files into other folders and you're good to go. If you like this video, smash like for the YouTube algorithm. Tune in next week where I play PC games on the Switch using an Xbox One controller, so part two, and subscribe for more gaming and tech tutorials.